Okay, say something. Say something. I left my heart in LA. In your Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. The body guide is coming. It'll be out soon. It's gonna be very mason jar themed. Today we're gonna talk about three random beauty items that I'm loving. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Flipping your pins. What's the word? Burn. Of you in LA. I know you know that you messed up. My nipples were like showing earlier, and I knew that wasn't gonna fly. Uh huh. So I put like this bandeau underneath this. Sandow. Whatever. Mm. Ariel, come on, don't be so like stiff. <laughs> and now my nipples are kind of oh, showing. No, Lisa, yeah, they are. Yeah, in the light. Are they are? In so the light they show. The Michael, left. my nipples are showing. Right there. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You guys are both amazing. I love this look. It's so fun and fresh. I love it. I don't mean to brag, but I give it a 10. All right. We're expecting you to be in party mode. Oh, yeah. Let's rage it. Rage. <laughs> That's very 2008. Okay, so this is Brad, Rage. Are you? Is it back, back to yeah. like 2000? Basically, like I'm hoping that I can wear, you know, like a juice pretty short. Oh, you already can. That's already back. Really? Yeah. I need to order one. I'm just trying to think of another word for world. Or are you thinking about what you're going to say to Kim K when you meet her? So me and Kim are already texting. I don't mean to brag, but we're like best friends. Can I have her phone number? Like I already, I had a Snapchat filter designed of me and Kim K, and I said to make it really bossy. So the girl that drew it, her name is Kelsey. She drew me in like a suit next to Kim with like her long locks coming down her like, you know, like to her vagina. It looks really good. <laughs> we're practically <laughs> friends. <sighs> We have 
have everything from <clears throat> like an oatmeal bake. We do eggs some morning. Sometimes I'll do a smoothie. It just honestly kind of depends. Or it's all in your book? All these things? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to know what this oatmeal bake is. It's really good. That is yeah. in my book. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds um, so good. And a lot of times I'll make stuff the night before if it's something like even the oatmeal bake. You can make that the night before and then all you do is warm mm -hmm. it up. Okay. So you're a businesswoman, an author, an entrepreneur, a chef, a mom. What is your advice for moms who want to sort of have it all? I need to take notes because he's ready to he pop ready. some babies he's out. Ready to go. I need to anchor baby her. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm not a chef. <laughs> I'm just a mom who likes to cook. I would never in a million years be like, yeah, I'm a chef. I don't know. That, I mean, I've had really great training or you know cooking lessons by great great chefs, but I am by no means a chef. I'm just a mom who likes to cook. I would say don't look at calories, don't look at fat, don't even look at sugar. Just read the ingredients, and then just try to eat real food. I mean, I just I I feel the best I ever have. My husband is a type one diabetic, and since he's adopted this lifestyle, he's gotten off of blood pressure medication. He looks and feels the best he ever has. I mean, so I've truly seen firsthand what a good wow. diet can really do for you. Do you think you'll have more kids? No. You're done. <laughs> three's, yeah. a, three's a good number. Three's a good number, and we just feel like a very complete family. Mm -hmm. Two boys and a girl. I love it so much. I don't want to. I don't want to rock the boat. How do you make time for your husband? Unfortunately, he's the last one on the totem pole. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, see, you want kids, and look, yeah. you're gonna be last on the totem pole. But nothing will change. <laughs> I can't. Can someone give her a fucking rolling? proper intro? We're not rolling, dude. You need to oh, be. we're rolling. That's the skinny confidential. I can't even just long, have her walk in it, here. How we pretty much have. Back to shit. Oh no, no, no! no. <laughs> Tough. I'm sorry. We'll get I it like right it. in post. No. I'm no, okay. We have a very special guest with us for this show, um, who's a, my new mentor. She's about 20-something years younger than me, but I have decided that she is like my new favorite person on the planet. So sweet. And her, okay, now I'm hyphenating the name because we're like... Kim Kardashian West. Got it. Lauren Everts Bostic, but you probably know her as the Skinny Confidential, or from the Skinny Confidential. Hi. Or at least you do. Boss. If you're If you're 35 and under, there's no chance you don't know. We, you told me that like I had done a blog a thousand years ago on your- You did a blog a thousand years ago on The Skinny Confidential and I thought it was so badass because I had reached out to so many different celebrities and it's so interesting that um, some of them are coming back now and wanting to be on the blog. Of course they are because it's massive. No. They said no and you said yes and you so gave yes. me an awesome interview and then we connected because of your app, which I love. And I kind of like was like, we have to get her on the podcast because you're iconic. So then I got to go on your podcast. And you were unbelievable. I was so good. You know, there were sororities in, in college and it was just, you had to pay $800. I was like, how can I cultivate this online and make it free and, and do it bigger? This is bigger not scale? YouTube. This is blog. This is just blog. Got it. And this is not when blogging was cool. This is eight years ago. So this, no one knew what a blog was yet. Okay. So I just started channeling all my boredom into blogging. You have to really remember the reason that you even have a platform to begin with. You give me advice all the time on many different levels, um, whether it's literal about my social media or whether it's metaphorical um, or spiritual. And you just have so much to offer. And I look at your life and I'm like, you know, this kid, and again, I say kid only because I'm, you can call me a kid all you want. I hope Older. you call me that until I'm 50. Okay. I, I, well, at that point, I'll be, God knows how old, so I, you'll still be kid to me. Um, but when I look at your life and how you have your shit together, you know, you're, how long have you been married to Michael? So Michael and I met when we were 12. What? Yeah. We have not been together that long. We met when we were 12. We actually got caught in the closet. He was begging for a BJ. <laughs> I've never no. told this story yeah, in the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you say what's on your mind, you tell the truth. And what I love so much about authenticity is that whether people particularly like what you're saying, they know they can trust you. Yes, and that's how you are. That, that it has been are. a part of my, is that yeah. whether they like me or not, and they can disagree with me about my feelings on keto or my feelings on this or my feelings on that, at least they know... Well, this is how she genuinely feels. Yes. She genuinely feels this way. All right, let me look and see if there's an agenda. There's not. Why does she feel this mm -hmm. way? So at the end of the day, at least you know that that person's truth talent. It all comes down to intention. What I am is I like to bring other experts on my platform to give value to my audience. It's not like all my tips and tricks. It's bringing other people together um, and sharing kind of everyone's and also taking tips from my audience. Um, it's it's kind of like everyone's tips and tricks. No matter 
who you are or how you always sacrifice something. Yeah, I'm so bad. Oh my god, you no, you. 100%. Can't live without item of clothing is this amazing jacket. Yes, I, I always steal my husband's clothes all the time because sometimes you just want like an off the shoulder really baggy and you just put it on with like a tight bodysuit and jeans and you're like good. Does he get mad? Or he yeah, he gets just, very mad. I mean, it also looks cute, so he can't get that mad. He gets mad. He does? Yeah. <laughs> I steal all his clothes. That's amazing. <laughs> Nothing like prepping in the car five seconds before. Yeah, there's a lot of um, jokes about buying, like how it's so much slapstick, but you know, that's what works in the six second time period that we had. What has been your most popular video and why do you think it's been your most popular video? Probably, so I did this couples one um, that has over like 30 million views on it on Instagram, which is a lot for Instagram. But I have videos that have more views on Facebook because it's all different platforms. But I think this one did so well because it was relatable content that, you know, every couple can relate to that I was just poking fun at the situation. So the situation was um, my boyfriend wanted to hook up with me and I'm just like, you know, just kind of sitting there next to him and he's just trying to kiss me. I'm like, oh, OK, like not now. That's the green one if you're feeling really super motivated maybe it's really simple and you just do collagen you know mct oil acacia fiber and greens acacia fiber what's that it's a root um and it makes a soluble fiber so it's a white powder um so for people with seed issues uh it's a great fiber to use and it turns into a gel-like consistency really does a good job detoxifying your body so sometimes when i do chia reflex in my smoothie i'll even add a tablespoon of that because I mean, it, calorically, it's 25 calories is negligible, you know, not a big deal, but it also is doing a good job of really just like working things through my system. I and love that. Yeah, it's great. We'll leave it in the show notes. So. Now, now Foods has an acacia fiber I love. I just want to be your friend.